Hi all, welcome back to Kindergarten and First Grade Math with Mr. Watan. I am Mr. Watan, and I am one of the kindergarten teachers at Rising Star Elementary, and we will work throughout this week on some kindergarten and first grade skills in math. Even though the focus is kindergarten and first grade math, everybody is welcome, families, friends, just like last time. And like last time, we will need two things. You will need something to write with and something to write on. I'm gonna continue using my post-it and my pen. And I'm gonna use two colors like last time also to show the game. We're gonna be playing a similar game, just like it says right here under the mathematical practice. It's the same math mathematical practice as last time. Make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. And the math game that we'll be playing is dots and boxes. However, it won't be dots and boxes three by three. It will be dots and boxes four by four today. Ooh, not three by three, four by four. And then we'll do another math read aloud. And after the math read aloud is we'll do another math movement. Maybe Mr. Watan will stand up this time. We will see. And then instead of just one image to ponder over, we're going to ponder over two images, images to ponder. That'll be the fourth thing that we'll do, just like last time. We are going to focus on the mathematical practice, make sense of problems and persevere in solving them, just like last time. And we'll do four things to do that. Play a math game, dots and boxes, not three by three, four by four this time. Do a math read aloud do some sort of math movement, and have some images to ponder over. So let's get started. The mathematical practice of today is making sense of problems and persevere in solving them, just like on the last time we met. And this will be the rest of the mathematical practice for the rest of the week. So let's get started with the first one, math game, dots and boxes. So as you remember, dots and boxes, there are dots going this way and dots going this way oh i'm showing you an old dots and boxes game that from last time these two right here cheetah and panda played so i'm going to show you a new one right here last time we started with a three by three so we had nine dots let's count nine dots one two three four five six seven eight nine you start with an array an array are dots of rows going horizontally and row uh, columns going vertically so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine now like i said this won't be three by three today it'll be four by four so i'm gonna make four dots on top one two three four one two three four on the next line and then four in the next line one two three four and I only see three rows and you guessed it we're going to add another row so there'll be four rows now and four columns this game of dots and boxes is going to have four by four today so instead of using a three by three which makes nine we're using four by four which makes 16. let's count let's make sure we have 16. i'm going to make sense of my problem my problem is counting to make sure i have 16 and i'm going to persevere in solving it let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen i have 16 dots and just like last time, I'm going to have my helpers, Cheetah and Panda, to come help play dots. Now, the point of the dots and boxes game is to make sure that you're making a square. When you're making a square, you're going to close up the square. And just like you saw here, this was their last game. And as you may remember, Panda, this one right here, won the dots and boxes game because they made the most boxes. Look, the P stands for Panda. The C stands for Cheetah. Now, Cheetah is going to make sense of this problem. They're going to remember what happened last time, and they're going to persevere in solving this problem. 
So Panda, watch out. Cheetah's coming for you. Cheetah's coming for that, those points. So your goal is to make as many boxes as possible. So in here, we're going to play this game. They're going to take turns again, like last time. But last time, Cheetah went first. So this time, Panda's going to go first. Panda, you're going to use blue like last time, and Cheetah's going to use pink like last time. And Panda's going to go first because Cheetah went first last time. So you're going to be making vertical lines and horizontal lines, vertical or horizontal. They're going to make one line at a time, and their goal is to make a box or close a box. So make a square. A square is like this post-it. This post-it is a square. So I'm going to make one line first. This line can go right there. And then it's Cheetah's turn. Let's see, Cheetah, he's going to make sense of the problem and persevere in solving them. Let's see if Cheetah makes a line right here, right there, they made a line. Now, I wonder if Panda is going to try to solve this problem too. Oh, my, my marker fell. Let me grab that marker. There we go. Here we go. Marker's back. Panda has a marker to use now. Now, let's see. If Panda makes a line right here, he's using a strategy and thinking, hey, Panda, if you make that line right there, Cheetah might make the other line, and they're going to get the point. So Panda's making sense of the problem and going to persevere in solving this problem. They're going to draw the line somewhere else, perhaps right there. Panda made a line, and they're solving their problem. Cheetah, your turn. Pink, let's see. Let's make a line maybe right there. Made a line. Haven't made any boxes yet. Now, four by four games take a little bit longer than three. So instead of making um, three by threes, if you want your games to go longer for dot, dots and boxes, feel free to make more dots. Now it's Panda's turn. I think Panda's gonna make a box or make a line right there. Hmm, not quite a box yet. Cheetah, your turn. Let's see, Cheetah, you can make a line right there. Oh my, Panda's going to make sense of this problem and persevere in solving it. They're going to make a box by closing this line right there. <clears throat> Panda gets first point. Cheetah, don't worry, you got this. Cheetah, make another line. Where will you make the line? Perhaps right here? Okay, and then Panda's going to make another line. Maybe pa Panda wants to make a line right there. Haven't closed any boxes yet. Cheetah, where will you go next? Cheetah might go right here. And then Panda's going to take their turn. Make a line. Maybe right there. <gasps> Cheetah, now's your time to make sense of this problem and persevere in solving it. Let's see. Look. Cheetah, you have an opportunity to get a point. Draw the line. Make the letter C. Cheetah, you made a point for yourself. Way to persevere in solving your problem. Great, Panda's turn. Panda, let's make a line right here. Cheetah, right there. Oh my, I see two places where Panda can close a box. Here or here? Where do you think, Panda? Let's go right here. That's a point. And then Cheetah, I see a place where you can solve your problem. Line up there. Cheetah, nice work. And then Panda's going to make a turn. Ooh, Panda, close this box right here. Way to get the point, Panda. And then Cheetah's going to make another line to get another point. Nice going. Panda's turn. Panda, there, let's see. Let's make a line right there. Cheetah, if you make a line down there on the bottom, you might get that point, and you do. All right, Cheetah. Cheetah gets a point. Panda, where will you make the line next? Perhaps up here. Nice, 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 nice. And then she, uh, Cheetah, make the line there. Cheetah gets a point. Panda, where can you make a line? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Perhaps down there, down here, and let's see who gets this final. Ooh. Mm, excuse that. This final line can go right here. Cheetah, you made that point. Now let's see. Did both of you 
make sense of the problem, and persevere in solving it. Let's see. Did you make boxes? Yes. Check. Did you try to make as many boxes as you can? Yes. Check. Panda, let's count how many boxes you have. One, two, three. Okay. Cheetah, let's count how many boxes you made. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> Panda. Panda, I mean cheetah. You made sense of your problems and persevered in solving them. Cheetah, last time, Panda won. This time, Cheetah won. Way to go. Way to come back for your comeback, Cheetah. All right, you two. Thank you for playing that game once more today. And maybe you'll play another Dots and Boxes game next time. Hmm, I wonder what that Dots and Boxes game will have. All right, thank you, you two. I'm going to put you two right back right here. Thank you, Panda. Thank you, Cheetah. Ooh. Stay there. Stay. Okay. Thanks. All right, cool. We did the dots and boxes game. We have three more things. So we did the math game. And then we're going to do math read aloud, math movement, images to ponder. So we're going to do a math read aloud next. That's the second one. Like last time, we're going to use the online resource called Tumble Books. So if you go onto the school website, and you go up here to students and scroll down to the fifth item, one, two, three, four, five. Fifth item, one, two, three, four, five. Click on online academic resources. And then scroll down to tumble books. And today, instead of numbers, I wanted to change it up for our math read aloud. Our math read aloud will be about shapes. So I'm going to go on the tumble search here and then scroll down. And I think it had something about being round. Round is a moon cake. Here it is. Go. Is the book here. The book is here. So we're going to read this book together and then we'll see how it goes. Play video. Round is a moon cake. Here it is. Round is a Mooncake, a book of shapes, written by Roseanne Thong, illustrated by Grace Lynn, published by Chronicle Books, Tumble Book by MoldEmedia.com. Round is a Mooncake, a book of shapes. Let's find out what shapes we see. Round is a Mooncake. Round is the moon. Round are the lanterns outside my room. Do you see some things that are round or circle? Let's see. Let me move this down this way. Here's something that's round or circular. There's something that's round. There are all those lanterns that are round. Let's keep reading. Is a pebble that found a bowl of goldfish that make no sound. There is that round shape. I see other round shapes. Fish eyes. These fish eyes are round. What other round things do you have in your room or in your space or in your living room or in your home or even outside? Ooh, I know something rounds outside right now. Sun, sun, the sun is round outside. Round are rice bowls in our house. Round are the eyes of my curious mouse. Like the fish eyes, look at this mouse eye. Look at this other mouse eye and the mouse nose. So many round things. Round ball that spins and twirls and happy faces of boys and girls. Are the cups of jasmine tea at a table beneath a tree? And what other things do you see? Let's see, what other things do we see? Oh, this flower has a round yellow center. This person's top has round things on it too. Ooh, these animal eyes have round eyes. What other round things are there? Are there any round things? <gasps> I know. 
one of my rings. That's round. My other rings might be round too. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, Mr. Watan's ring is round too. Round things. There's shapes we might run into. Square is a checkerboard in the park. Square is my name. Chop ink a mark. Look at that. Checkerboard, it's square. Look at her name, Chop Inky Mark. There we go. The name Chop Inky Mark. What other square shapes do we see? Hmm. Oh, wait. Panda, cheetah, you're by something square. This letter M, it's on a square thing. What other square things are there? Hmm. Look around. Look around. What other square things could there be? and radish cakes. Square are the sweets the bakery makes. Square, square, square. Good squares. Is the box that pizza comes in and dim sum made by Mrs. Chin. Look at that box. It's square. There's another square. Pizza square there too. Basket where kittens sleep. Square is a box for secrets I keep. Look at that square. In the square, in the square, in the box. But wait, I notice another square. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Where? Oh, I think I went too far ahead. Let's go back. Here we go. I'm moving this. <gasps> Look, I see a square on the floor. Square. Hmm, finding squares, square. Square is a window with a view. Square is my room and my family's house too. I can name more square things, can you? Hmm, I can name more square things. I know that maybe some pillows could be square. Hmm, did you know you can make a square with your fingers? Take a look. Go like this, if you're making that sign, but move one finger down, you go like this too. Put those two together, you made a square. Square, 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 square. Square. Rack, inking stones, paintbrush racks, and mobile phones. Ooh, mobile phones. Here's my rectangle. Rectangle. Do I see any rectangle things too? <gasps> this book is a rectangle. You see other rectangle things? You could make a rectangle with your finger just like you did earlier with a square. Go like this. Go like this. Letter L's. Make one L go upside down. Put it together. You made a rectangle. Boom. Rectangle. Popo's favorite Chinese lace, a very special pencil case. Good rectangle. Our sacks of rice, an abacus to tell the price. Here's the sack of rice, that's a rectangle. The abacus down here, that's also a rectangle. Hey, these lanterns aren't round anymore. They're rectangles. Puppet stage and homemade tickets. Rectangles are homes for crickets, are they? That is a rectangle. How about what this stage is? It's a long, it might look like a square, but it's longer. So it must be a rectangle. Look on a tree, envelopes for you and me. Hey, some of us might have these during some point of the year. Those are in the shape of a rectangle. Rectangles are books for fun. A bed to sleep in when day is done. Can you name another one? Hmm, another rectangle. The bed is a rectangle like they said. Pillows can be rectangle too. 
Let's see what else could be rectangles. You tell me. Tell me other rectangle things. What other rectangle things are there? Mm, we made a rectangle with our fingers. Mm, what other rectangle things are there? Books. We talked about how some books are rectangles. So many rectangle things. Look around. Look outside. See what other rectangle things there are. The end. All right. Now let's do some movements because it says after the math read aloud, math movement is next. So let me move my chair back today. Instead of sitting in my chair, we're gonna do some standing up math movements and I'll shift this camera up so you can see as well. Let's do, let's start with five hops. Let's count that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Next, if I have five and I put another five up, that makes 10. Let's count that just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's twist. Oh no. Now let's twist ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great movement. Now let's see, yesterday we did a slide, but we slid on our bottoms. Let's slide with our whole bodies today. So if I have 10, I want to take away two fingers. So I'm left with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight slides. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Thanks for moving with me. I'm going to shift my chair back and shift this camera back down. And let's move on to the images to ponder. The other day when we last left off, we started with this image. And I remember making the image a way where we can count it. And I use this to group our images. I'm not going to put a fill in so that we can for sure see the, the lines. Here we go. Okay. And then I remember us counting this, but when we counted it, we counted it by fives was a way that we counted one, five, ten. And I also recall that we counted by twos, two, Mr. Watan, let's not move that. Let's move the other shape. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We've done that. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to move down. Here's another image to ponder. How many do you see? Maybe we can count them by grouping them again. I know I see a group of five right away. There's five. There's another five. How else do you see this? Hmm. Ooh, I know I see this by counting by twos. Here's two, four, six, eight, and then 10. How many do we have? Let's go back. My problem is I want to know how many dots there were. Make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. We did that. We counted how many there were. Good counting. I'm going to leave this up for a few more moments so that you can ponder about other ways that you can count this image. All right, let's move on to the next image. <gasps> hey, this doesn't look like the last image nor did it, does it look like the other image. But I do see something right away. I notice a five. I see a five right there. The five. And then I see two more outside the circle. Five, six, seven. That's a seven. I wonder if you can count this in other ways. Let's see, there's the five, six, seven. Can you count this by twos? Let's 
fix this circle up and perhaps we can count these by twos. Let's see. Ooh, Mr. Watan moving the shapes again. Don't mean to move that part in that. Here we go. Let's move two, four, six. Oh, there aren't any more. So six and then one more. That's seven, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to leave this image for a few more moments for you to ponder over. Think over. All right. Yesterday, we said goodbye in Tagalog, or the other day, we said goodbye in Tagalog. Today, we'll say goodbye in a different way. We'll say goodbye. I know I have some students who speak Mandarin in my classroom. So I remember that they say goodbye by saying, Sai Jen. So see you later, everybody. Sai Jen.